What's up guys, Crafty Fam here. I'm going to try to make this video real quick, that's because I have to be somewhere, but I'm going to do it real quick. It's just going to be the unboxing of the Raptor 7s, uh, Air Jordan brand of course. So this is my first pair of Jordans since the Obsidian 12s, which was July 23rd. Today is September 1st, so it's been quite a while since I got a pair of shoes. And I've just been waiting for this shoe just because uh, there's sig some significance to it. Um, I didn't like the gold medal pack too much. The Olympic 7s, I wasn't too fond of it because of how white, the most, majority of the shoe is white. I didn't want to get them too dirty. So I was waiting out for a 7 that was going to be majority black. The gold medal pack had too much hype behind it for me. Um, and the colorway was okay, but I wasn't digging it too much. So I went ahead and just waited for the Raptor 7s, which I have today. So here's the box in the new Jordan box, size 6.5. Air Jordan Retro GS Grade School. It's a black with two... There's a true red, charcoal, club purple, and that's about it. You have the jump man right there. Nothing on this side but the thumbprint. Silhouette right there. And then nothing over here except for it says premium crafted performance inspired by the greatest ever. Which is Jordan, in case you didn't know. Um, so let's go ahead and right into the shoe. Pull up both of them for you. So the Raptor 7s first premiered 2002. Um, I was 10 years old when they first came out. I'm now 20. Uh, another 10 years later, here we have it again. You're going to see it's majority black, covered in nubuck all the way around. has a harancha lining in it, so you can see right there. Very comfortable to slip on. Um, let's see what else we got. You have the mountains right there, and the club purple and the true red goes into the purple then goes into the red right there just have a black midsole you have these speckles I call them craters on the side here same thing at the bottom of the shoe you have your craters speckles whatever you want to call them true red citrus orange club purple and then black you have the jump man right there in true red the lining of the shoe is going to be majority of the true red you have a purple pull tab back here it says Jordan across the tongue. Then it says Air in between the Jordan because you know it's Air Jordan. You have the Jumpman right there. The 7 was actually the first shoe also by Jordan to have no Nike marketing on it whatsoever. So you're going to see no Nike whatsoever. Um, and I'm talking about like the OG shoes. The OGs had a lot of Nike marketing on them. This one was the first one not to have it. It just had the Jumpman has Jordan and that's about it. On the back here, you have Jordan's number 23. Behind the 23, if you turn it this way, you can kind of see the 7, making this a Jordan 7. You can also see the silhouette of the 6 kind of in the shoe, but this one's obviously the 7. <laughs> and I just really like the shoe, how it was crafted. This is the majority black. Um, I didn't have any hats, really, in my collection to go with it too well, so I went ahead and got this Giants one. I was originally going to buy a Toronto Raptors hat, but I just didn't feel right wearing a Toronto Raptors hat, especially since I don't watch them. I'm a Knicks guy. Um, also the Rockets. I like the Rockets when T-Mac was there. So I went ahead and got this Giants one. Goes with the red fairly well. No complaints whatsoever for me. And that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, definitely subscribe for more videos to come. Check out the videos I have on my channel now. And that's basically it. So I'm Crafty Fam. You stay you. I'll stay me. Let's stay real. Peace.